Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you guys what palm muting is and how to use it on your guitar. Last week I showed you how to use left handed muting on your guitar. Today I'm going to use my right hand to mute the strings. Now what is palm muting? Like you saw in the intro, I still get some sound from the chord, but it's like it seems shortened let's say, but you still have the sound of that chord specifically. In contrast to what we did last week, where we mute all the strings totally and we don't really have a sound of a certain chord. So how do we hold our right hand to get this effect of the palm muting? Now, if I hold it just on the strings right here and then I play, I don't get that much sound. Let's take a random chord for example, the G chord for example, in the second position, doesn't really matter which chord it is, but let's say it's that one. I don't have that much sound, I really cannot say it's the G chord. Now how do we get the sound a little bit back without having the full sound? We're actually holding our right hand with the outside of the palm right here and hold it just over the bridge of our guitar here. We have the bridge on this side, but the other side has a bridge as well. And we hold our right hand just over the beginning of the strings over there. If we do the same thing then, we get this. Instead of the full sound being this. We get this. It sounds muted, right? And the more I move my right hand towards my left hand, the less sound I will get from the chord. I don't have much sound of the chord left when I do that, right? This technique is used a lot on electric guitar and a lot of rock songs. For example, you hear it in the beginning. That's a small part of the song Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young. But you can also, for example, take uh, Paranoid from Black Sabbath and have the same effect. That's a little bit of the same effect. It sounds pretty cool and it's used a lot in verses and bridges but not really that much in choruses because most of the time in choruses of songs they want the full sound so that's the full chord. But in a verse it sounds a lot cooler when you have this palm muting effect. All right? So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also guys, next week I'm going to show you how to use the plant and karate chop technique on guitar. So stay tuned for that one. I also have other tutorials, reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. where we mute the o, the G chord, let's... How do we... Now, how do we get the pop without having the... F we are actually going to go to... We're on, if I hold... If I sh and the more I... Sh so this is... So this, this technique is... Will we... And not really in, in the full sound most of the... Next... Also, guys, I'm going...